Right, okay. Remember when I showed you my new purchase, my generator? There it is. Got the filler cap off ready to uh, ready to refuel. I'll just put it back on for a minute though. Just to stop insects and debris getting in the tank and things like that. That's my uh, mixer bottle. But the one thing I didn't show you was this. <coughs> which goes to my generator. It is... Hold on. Sorry about the rattling camera. Got a wrist strap on. Just took it off now. It's just... Uh, there we are. And this is... <coughs> Excuse me, clear my throat. This is basically a uh, set of clips here with the plug, DC plug, um, for the DC outlet on the generator. That'll come in useful for charging up batteries and running any DC items, anything like that really. And also, I've got a little box spanner, like that. It goes straight through the bar, going straight through. So you can just put it on your spark plug, undone, and job done. Also, that is the box. I haven't actually measured it, but I know for a fact that that box for the generator fits in snugly with room to spare. Where did I put it now? Here it is. Into my bike trailer. Right there. This is my brother's bike trailer. Basically the same type of trailer, exactly the same. Only that one's a bit older. This one's newer by a year or so. I've forgotten when exactly we bought them now, but we've long since made custom alterations to them. Brothers fitted these soft foam grip handles, which he seems to prefer better. I actually quite like the uh, plasticized, rubberized kind of handles, I don't know what you call them, but that's all I call them. It takes a pin hitch to pin, which goes through with a really large securing uh, washer and two, wa two, um, two nuts, I mean, nuts. What am I talking about? Securing nuts and two washers, I should say. The alteration that I've made to mine when it was laying on the ground flat, it would lie down too steep. So I've, to raise it up a bit, I did an extra piece of broom handle in there and just taped it in place. But anyway, that's uh, not really relevant. Uh, but I just thought I'd say just anyway, just for something to say. Uh, here's the generator, and I know I'm going to start it up. Since this generator here is a non-runner, what I think I'll do is I'll use this as a positioning area to place the camera. Otherwise I'll be a little bit scuppered. Um, 
Just trying to get the positioning right. That's going to go, ah, that's more like it. There we are, it's in the picture. I'll fuel up now and uh, hopefully get it running. Anyone on YouTube, you can comment. Leave me a comment, as long as it's sensible, of course. Don't leave me any old jargon, any rubbish. And certainly nothing abusive. I don't take kindly to anything abusive. But anyone on YouTube who is a fan of generators will love this. And um, especially a fan of two stroke, or four stroke for that matter, they'll love this. So here we go. <coughs> it's the uh, two stroke. It's green, I don't know where you can tell, it's always green. Fuel strainer to save bits of debris getting into the fuel tank and getting in the fuel line. It obviously, you'd have another secondary filter in the tap itself. This fuel can, I should mention, is a 1 litre capacity and the fuel tank is a 4 litre capacity. So I'm only quarter filling it really. But it's all I need just for illustration. I should mention this is brand new, I've never started it yet, so. Certain sense of nervousness. But it's 